Let's discuss the German meat market as a labor market and the effects of the introduction of a minimum wage. Let me do that by outlining economic theory of supply and demand of labor, explaining a competitive and a monopsony labor market and the effects of a minimum wage for the both of them. The supply of labor is based on the trade of decisions workers have to make between work and leisure time. Workers can either don't work and enjoy 24 hours of leisure time or work and thereby earn income, enabling them to buy goods of an equivalent of the 24 hours income. Their decision of what to give up moves along in difference curves. Consequently, the shape of the supply curve is determined by two factors based on that trade-off. The substitution effect level shows that if wage levels increase, the opportunity cost of leisure time will increase, resulting in workers willing to supply a high amount of work. Hence, the supply curve is upward sloping. However, as the wage rate increases, the workers at a certain point will want to spend the higher level of wages on leisure time. As a result, workers will work less, describing the income effect. In case at a certain wage rate, the income effect is stronger than the substitution effect, the supply curve will be backwards bending. Companies want to earn profits. The margin of revenue product, or MRP, de determines the quantity of labor a company will need, etc. purpose. To be profitable, the MRP must be higher than the cost of the workers. The MRP curve is influenced by two factors the marginal physical product, or the amount of value each new employee brings following the rule of diminishing returns, and, logically, the demand for the product in the market. This equation makes the MRP curve look upward spending and downward sloping. Let's discuss two pure forms of labor markets. In a competitive market, the wage level is determined by the equilibrium of supply and demand in the market. The companies are therefore wage takers. A labor market where there is only one buyer of labor, such as a large factory in a small town, is called monopsony and is a wage maker. A company in that particular market must take the market's equilibrium wage level. Whenever the company's individual MRP curve exceeds the wage level, the company could hire more workers. The higher the wage level, the less quantity of labor the company will require. The market determined that for a certain wage rate, the company will employ Q equilibrium workers. A higher minimum wage rate results in more workers willing to work on the market, so the quantity shifts to Q1. However, the total market's employee demand shifts to Q2 to set the new market equilibrium of the minimum wage rate and the quantity demanded. The result is unemployment and dead weight losses. Ironically, the minimum wage initially intended to help the workers, but actually results in more workers without a job. In a monopsony, the employer is the wage setter. As the wages go up, the more workers are willing to work. The marginal cost curve shows the cost of a worker to the company. It grows steeply upwards, but why? As an example, let's say the company employs one worker at $2. His marginal cost for the worker is also $2. For the second worker, it has to pay $4, but for the first worker, he also needs to spend additional $2, meaning he has to raise the salary by $2. In total now, his cost for two workers is now $8, and so forth. Now, the monopsonistic company will hire as many workers as its marginal costs equals the MRP. Moving downwards, one can see that it actually only pays wages at the level of the supply curve. Consequently, the monopsony company will only employ less workers than in a competitive market, resulting in an exploitation of the worker supply. At a minimum wage, the marginal cost curve of the monopsonistic company doesn't grow proportionally anymore. It is simply perfectly elastic, because the workers earn exactly the minimum wage. As a consequence, the company is now able to hire more workers, creating a positive effect of the minimum wage. To conclude, the introduction of a minimum wage has different effects in the two very stylized examples. In reality, the economy is neither a completely competitive labor market nor 100% monopsony. It is never frictionless, rather it's a search market for workers and employers, each having at least some wage setting power. Coming back to the German meat market now, one has to see what kind of market conditions actually prevail.